All right, cool. We're live. So, hello everyone. My name is Palm Samayoi, and we're back for Palm Samayoi, uh Dream Number Two. And this is once again chilling out with Palm Samayoi. I mean, of course, it'd be Number Two for that as well. So yeah. So um, pretty much. Uh, like I said, I'm just gonna be playing through Pokemon Moon for now, but um. But, what else was I going to say? Uh, if y'all ever wanted to like add me or something and then battle me on Pokemon X or Y, because I got Pokemon Y and I can battle and stuff like that, uh, let me know. So, yeah. But besides that, I might as well tell you about uh, things to come. So, I will be doing a job later today. I'm not going to say exactly what it is, but I might be able to have enough money uh, to be able to get that stand so I can go back to, you know, normal recording like I did before. Uh, I mean, this is fine for now, but, I mean, that would be great if I get a stand because I can do so much stuff. And um, not only that, but I might be getting a, an actual uh, for real job that I'll do often to get money for working for someone that I'm uh, uh, close to. That's the only reason why. But, yeah. So anyways, um, what else was I going to say? Uh, that's pretty much it about this just new with me, so I guess for now I'll just uh, continue playing some good old Pokemon Moon. Going down Route 11, I already defeated the double trainers yesterday, so let's see what else we got. Ooh, TM. Most likely not going to use it though, because you know how I am with that. Oh, gyro, gyro ball, whatever. It's a decent move, decent move. Ooh, we got another train, huh? I think maybe this guy is going to give me a quest. No, okay, he just wants to talk, okay. Let's see, my Pokemon real quick, because I think I'm all good for training right now. Yeah, Gumshoes is out in front. Alright, let's see, what, yep, this kid wants to battle. Alright, buddy, let's do this. Oh, because me and Stuffle don't mess around, he must have at least a Stuffle. If he doesn't, then, well, he tricked me. Well, he has a Stuffle, okay. I love Stuffles Cry, it's so cute. It is it just the fact that it's like a teddy uh bear Pokemon is so cool. This thing is pretty tanky though. Uh, I'm gonna use Super Fang, because even though I'm just five levels above it, this thing is a tank. So Super Fang will cut it in half. Oh, it's using Flail on me. Doesn't do that much right now, but I might as well go with the stab tackle. Oh, and use baby doll eyes. I don't think I'm going to kill it this turn, then. I mean, him this turn. Yeah, he's a tank. He almost got one-shotted. Uh, I mean, he almost got killed from that range, but without... But if he didn't attack drop me, then I would have been fine. But I won anyway, so it doesn't matter. Ooh, it might be time for Gumshoes to train in the wild. Maybe. Let's see. He gained about three, almost 400 experience. Uh no, he's he's still not at a thousand. He's at a thousand one hundred fifty left to level up. We can continue. Let's see. I want to see how much money I have. Uh, okay, I'm pretty broke right now. <laughs> Cause there's a an accessory I want to buy on my character for like uh, clothing purposes. Um. But anyways, yeah, I'm trying to save up for this expensive black fancy backpack that's like a hundred thousand I like wrote it down in the document I can even check it right now but once I get that money because I'm pretty much set on items and all that I'm definitely gonna go buy the clothing with this fighting guy sent out a hairy yamba this might be really bad for my comp shoes maybe he's not gonna use any fighting type moves oh level 28 Ooh. I'm gonna see if gumshoes can take a hit cuz he's he's um three levels above I don't know. If I can land the Super Fang. Oh, you missed the Super... Okay, he's Whirlwind. Okay, that's fine. 
But I missed the freaking Super Fang, which is annoying. Ariadil got dragged out. Ooh. Well, I forgot my Ariadil said Sword Stance. So I could do some work with this, but since this thing has Whirlwind, I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to spam Nightshade. Oh, this thing has Belly Drum. It's faster than my Ariados. It maxed out its attack. He maxed out his attack, but I think it's fine. Oh, he's so tanky. I'm going to go for Infestation. I know it's not very effective, but... Oh, he's going to use Whirlwind because he didn't go first. Yeah, okay. Well, that was a waste of a move. Because I thought I was slower, but now I forgot that... I don't know. Just... Oh, Gumshoe's got to switch right back out. Wow, that's coincidence, because they could have switched out to any of my other ones, but... Okay, this Hariyama is most likely dead. It's like at low yellow health. Oh, thank God. If that thing would have hit me with, like, a, any attack, it's max attack, so it would have probably killed. Whew, that was close. That was a close one. And now it's time to train Gumshoes. And uh, Ariados got a bunch of... It gave, that thing gave us a thousand experience for both Ariados and... Yeah, Ariados is ready to train as well. Holy crap. Alright then. Well, Ledian's next to go out for... And front. And he's got a while until he levels up. So he's using Normalian Z. Yeah. And then I'll heal after I train him in the grass. You never know when they're gonna what they're gonna come at me, because they're these are some strong trainers, especially that fighting type one. That was scary. This thing was a level twenty eight. Not that high of a level from them, but still. I'm almost about halfway through Route 11, so that's pretty good. What the heck? Or else was just dashing, making the animation to dash, just standing still. I don't know what the heck he was doing. Let's see, so... Because for my outfit right now in this game, I already have the black, uh, Caesar cut, black color haircut. So that was 5,000. And then I got the plain black tee. That was 900. And then I got the plain black cargo shorts. That was 4,500. And then I got the black crew socks. That was only 300. The black loafers... 55,000. Oh crap, the leather backpack is in 100,000. It's actually 378,000. Oh my god. Holy crap. But I think I have the loafers already. So I'm sure I've made about 55,000 already. I think I have them on. They look like the loafers. They're like black shoes. Maybe I did. Geez, that. But the black backpack is so good, it's gonna like really complete my outfit. And then for the battle style, um, I like the Reverend because I forget how it looks, but I just thought that was the best looking one in my opinion. Um, oh, why did I go back to the Pokemon Center when I didn't even train them yet? <laughs> Maybe they won't take any damage. Maybe this is just, uh, wasn't uh, anything bad. They might have some power points lost, but it's fine. I have a whole team. But anyway... Do some wild encounters. Gumshoes can just gonna like take one battle to get to level up. Oh, there you goes. There you goes. Must be really common around here. Cause since I'm playing Pokemon Moon, if you didn't know the trick between like Sun and Moon, the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, pretty much for um for the for this game that I'm playing Pokemon Moon, if it's in the daytime and it should be daytime out in real life, then it's gonna be nighttime. And, of course, when it's Sun, uh, Pokemon Sun, then it's going to be actually, if it's daytime, it'll be daytime, and if it's nighttime, it's nighttime. But when it's nighttime in Pokemon Moon, it's actually uh, sunny, which is really weird. So it, it kind of really screws up the things because certain Pokemon I wanted to find in certain uh, days. But wow, that Z Breakneck Blitz didn't kill that area, though. It almost did. 
Maybe a normal attack will do. Oh, he. What a noob. He used Shadow Sneak on me. It's not very. Uh, it doesn't affect at all. Oh, we got a critical too. Sweet. This should get the level up. Sweet. Yeah, nice. Sweet. We get a care for Gumshoes. Alright, Gumshoes. You're gonna get some packs. And a Pokeboo. And to clean you off. Oh, your fur got all ruffled. Alright, buddy. Give me the comb. Just the Tyranitar comb. Such a cool decorated comb. It's called comb, but it sounds like I'm saying comb or something. Well, this is how you say it. Trying to feed you a Pokebean. There you go. Oh, yeah, and the Pokepelago, I did check it, but there wasn't any uh, new Pokemon that showed up or anything. And there wasn't. Um, there was just quite a lot of beans, but I think it has to be a whole day for, like, Pokemon to start showing up in there, so I don't know. Because cause it would have been, like, I'd say, like, ten minutes later that I uh, played since yesterday. So I'm starting, because uh, uh, in yesterday's stream, I didn't immediately play uh, Pokemon Moon. I was, I was grinding on Pokemon Y to get, um... To get the the Froki egg uh, hatched and all that stuff, and take them out of the breeding thing because I won't be breeding for a while. Um. So yeah. Now Ariados to train. I don't think Ariados has any Z. I think only one Z crystal can be on the Pokemon at a time. He's not holding anything, right? No, I guess not, because it would have said. Yeah, no, he's not. Okay, so. We've got Nightshade, Infestation, Sucker Punch, Sword Stand. Oh, I don't even have the bug in EMZ yet. Well. Oh, I guess I can't put any on. Well, I have Normalium Z, but that's just for Sword Stand. Okay, well. No point in doing that. <laughs> Well, I think Z Sword Stance raises something. I forget. You know what? Screw it. I'll just give you the Normalium Z as well. Because I'm probably going to have to use Sword Stance just to make things faster. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm trying to think of what other stuff that is new with me. Oh yeah, I made a new Yu-Gi-Oh deck yesterday, if y'all are interested in that. Oh, I found a Morlo. That's interesting. I don't think I've seen that yet in this uh, game, me personally. 27, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, I don't think this thing has much health, but this thing has a lot of spore type things, so... I'm gonna go ahead and just use Infestation right off the bat, so I can start grinding away. Because if you stay in when you use Infestation, it'll like uh, grind it away. Oh, that one used Ingrain, so it's pretty much canceling out my extra effective Infestation. But it's fine, I'm still going to attack this attack this thing anyways. So I'm just going to spam Nightshade. Because Nightshade is pretty great because I'm level 31, so it's going to do 31 damage each time. So, Oh yeah, this thing is going down. Yeah. They just tried using in <laughs> she just tried using Ingrain again. No, this thing is dead. You are dead. Well, anyways, like I was saying, uh, yeah, I made a new Yu-Gi-Oh deck yesterday. You all know I like Yu-Gi-Oh, um, but anyway, it's pretty much, like, almost the same exact thing as my Paul's deck, except, um, instead of the cards, like, Release Restraint Wave, um, Creature Swap, Card Trader, um, Dark Bribe, I'm trying to think of the other ones. Um, oh, I've got, I'm going up against another Aerie Dose. What the heck? Well, I guess I might as well spam Nightshade. Oh, I think I shall see. Get the heck out of here. It's not going to do that much to me. We got this. You know, this thing is only six levels under. Two more Nightshades to go. Heck, you know what? I'll use an infestation just so the next night shade will kill. Hey, we avoided attack because we 
because Eridos loves us a lot. But anyways, like I was saying, um, yeah, I replaced. Always oh, calling for help. Please don't. Oh, good. Okay, because it gets really tough when they call for help when you're like they're pretty close level. So it's really just you against the two Pokemon. So good thing, good thing that Eridos did not call for help. Because if it did, he did, then that would have been bad, but we got it. Ooh, almost gonna get that level up, one more. But anyway, like I was saying, instead of release your strength wave, I actually added in Harpy's Feather Duster. And you're wondering, yeah, that's probably that's a banned card usually, but um ooh, I found a pan champ, nice. This thing should be pretty easy to kill. But anyways, like I was saying, um What was I saying? Oh yeah, uh the whole thing that's called Paul's Unrestricted Deck, that means I pretty much am going to use banned cards. So I'm like, whatever. And I actually used it against someone else yesterday. We had a fun time. Uh, he was the only person who was the only one on uh, the multiplayer for Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, the old version, I mean, before the whole Link's thing. Because I, I really don't like the Link cards. They like really, I just don't like them at all. I'm not going to bother to change my deck at all. Like personally, oh, Panchamp's calling for help. Please don't be successful. Crap, he did. He called for help successfully. Well, the trick for this is you want to kill them quick. Um, pretty much what you want to do is weaken the one that just came in and then kind of kill them both really fast at the same time. So I'm going to use Infestation again. The, uh, the new Pancham. Eridos is going to get a lot of experience from this. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I mainly, like I was saying, my Paul's Unrestricted deck. I'm using the cards that were pretty much uh, banned and all that, so, yeah. I might be able to time this just right, maybe. Because the first one's almost dead from its infestation, so I might be able to have them die both at the same time. That'd be great. Yeah, I think so, yeah. As long as the first one who called, the first one that I uh, encountered didn't, oh, no, Circle Throw, that's going to, oh, okay, because Circle Throw usually makes you flee from battle, I'm pretty sure, but this one just switched me out, so that's perfect, it went out to my and I could use, I could just use Swift and probably kill them both, but I'm going to want to, I'm going to want to kill the other one. Oh wait, no, because Infestation isn't up. Oh, this is a tricky one. Because I don't want the other one to... Oh, wait, what's my Z power? Oh, all up pummeling. You know what? So, yeah, infestation isn't up anymore because of the whole Eridos got switched out. But I might be able to finish them with Swift because they're decently low. So, you know, I'm going to try it. Nope. Oh, uh, the, the original one almost lived. That would have been great. There you go, Aerodose level 32, Spiderweb, I don't think I want you to learn Spiderweb. Um, nope. He has most of his moves, he's just missing Poison Jab and Fin Missile. That's the set I want to have on him, Sword Stance, uh, Sucker Punch, Poison Jab, and Fin Missile. So nope, you're not learning Spiderweb, that's a nope. Please don't call anyone else, because this Pancham is at low red health. So anyways, like I was saying, um, yeah, I used cards from... I just looked through the whole band list to see what cards would be an upgrade from cards I already have in the deck. Please don't call for help, Pancham. Please don't. Thank you. Yes, I can kill this thing. Okay. Thank God. So I'm already done training. I don't want to just overtrain if I don't have to. But anyways, um, yeah, instead of a uh, release restraint wave, which what that does is it pretty much uses an equip card of mine, like an equip spell or something that is equipped to me, that it's like, say, Gradle Alligator, it can be used as to control another monster if it gets destroyed, uh, an opponent's monster, and, and that counts as like an equip card so I can use that for release restraint wave and release restraint wave once it like uh, takes up that whatever equip thing it was that you own currently then it will destroy all the face down spell or trap cards 
on your opponent's side of the field. So it was very good. It was almost as good as Harpy's Feather Duster. But Harpy's Feather Duster doesn't need an equip spell. It just straight up, straight up destroys all spell and trap cards your opponent controls. So it's way better, obviously. So I put that in instead of uh, having the Lisa Strength Wave, obviously, because I'm using... I'm just... On, it's, I'm having unrestricted, so yeah. Um... Then I... Trying to put this amulet coin on a uh, lady in real quick. But anyways, um, yeah, what else was I saying? Um, yeah, and instead of dark bribe, because I had two dark bribes in, I just got rid of uh, the two dark bribes, and then I got rid of the solemn warning, and just added in three solemn judgments, because solemn judgment is an all-out amazing card. It's a trap card. It pretty much, you pay half your life points, every time you want to use it and um, pretty much what it does is it negates any summoning of a monster spell or trap but at the cost of half your life points so no matter how low you are on life points as long as you can spend half like even if you are 50 life points if you uh, use it you'll be at 25 because it always says half so it's such a convenient card such a multi-purpose awesome card um, but anyways, oh man, I guess, oh, I guess I really wasn't supposed to go down Route 11. It actually goes down into, around the island, so, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I will go on that mountain trail then. Oops, all right then. Well, anyways, um, yeah, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, Solemn Judgment is just an amazing card overall. Even if you have to pay half your life points, it's worth it. Oh, this one's a, this one's a quest I remember. I have to find her stuffles, this old lady. Yeah, let's do this. Yep, we gotta find all her stuffles and give them back. Yep, of course. Hopefully she gives me some good stuff. Hopefully, that I can actually use. Alright, but anyways, uh, like I was saying, yeah, and then instead of, um, instead of the, I'm trying to think of the other cards, oh yeah, instead of Card Trader, I actually put in the Monster Fiber Jar, and of course that one's banned as well, <laughs> and you'll see why. Pretty much when it gets flipped, um, both players shuffle, I think... All the cards in their hand, not only in their hand, but also the, um, also on the field, they shuffle all that back into their deck and then draw five cards. So it's pretty much like a refresh, which is amazing because I have this other card uh, named Tierra, Source of Destruction, which I need ten different cards in my hand or on my field uh, to shuffle back into the deck. Uh, they have to have different names and all that. Uh, they can't be the same card. So ten different ones, and then all the cards on the field and in the graveyard and in our hands get shuffled all back into the deck. And the only one that's left is Tierra. And now Tierra has 3,400 attack and 3,600 defense. So pretty, it's a pretty crazy one. They really put the advantage. But like I said, it takes all its cards. So um, something like Fiber Jar instead of Card Trader, because Card Trader was just pretty much me getting uh, cards pretty easily. Like, once a turn during my standby phase, if I have the uh, Card Trader out in play, uh, I pretty much can... I can... What is it? Um, I can trade a card in my hand and then get a new one in my deck. Just, it's a random one, so it was pretty helpful, but definitely Fiber Jar is better to have in that sense. And then instead of Creature Swap, which uh, I pretty much used to take control of, like, permanently take control of an opponent's monster, like, what it does is I have to give the opponent one of my monsters, and then they have to give me one of their monsters on the that they're controlling on the field. So it was really helpful, um, but Change of Heart is definitely the way better thing, because you can just immediately take whatever monster your opponent has, and take it and you have it until the end of the turn so pretty much why that is so great is because if there's a face down monster they have 
and um, and you just want to see what exactly it is, or if you just want to take control of uh, their monster and then like sacrifice it so that they won't get it back, obviously, because it'll be in the graveyard. Um, that's like really good change of heart to card. Uh, it's such a good one. <laughs> but yeah, but anyways, um, so that's why I have change of heart instead of creature swap. Cause yeah, creature swap is cool because if you take the whatever monster you take, you keep that until they get destroyed or something like that. It's like a permanent exchange. But um, the only bad thing about change of heart is just like I said, it's till the end of the turn. So you really want to be strategic about how you uh, deal with that monster you took. Like you can either combine it into like an Xyz or maybe Synchro Summon or something like that. You got to think of some pretty creative ways to not give them back the monster because then that's really bad because then they could easily like use that as a like a tribute for their own. So it's like you got to be careful and smart how you use it. And what are the other cards I added in? Um, oh, that's right in the extra deck. Um, oh wait, no. Also, hold on. Now. Instead of Call of the Haunted, which I pretty much was just using as a free. Uh, thing to bring back a monster in my grave it's a continuous trap so it would be connected to the uh, to the Pokemon uh, when, if the call of the haunted gets destroyed then so does the Pokemon who's connected to it so but instead of that I just added in monster reborn now monster reborn is a spell that um, brings back a monster in either player's graveyard on my side of the field in either defense or attack and can pitch, pick which one so it's way better than call of the haunted of course so then now onto the extra deck. So I took out um, one Utopia. Number, uh, I mean one number thirty nine Utopia, one number S thirty nine Utopia Prime, and one number S thirty nine Utopia the Lightning. To add in um, some very powerful cards that you used to use back in the day that weren't banned, um, and they were amazing cards. Uh, so yeah, I'll tell you what they are. So one, I forget the exact name, but it's I think it's called Teller Knight or or Stellar Knight, and it's like I'm gonna have to look at the name of it. Um, but pretty much the effect of this thing, you need two level four monsters to make the Xyz monster, and it, it's an Xyz card. I forgot to say. Um, but anyways, yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, it is... Well, what's so great about it is... Well, I think it has like 2,600 defense, which is, I mean, pretty good defense. Um, but this really special effect you really want... Um, I'm, I'm like brain farting so much, I keep forgetting what I'm trying to say. I think it has to be in attack position to be able to activate the effect. And what the effect is, it is that um, you can attach a, another level 4 monster on, and for the ability, you need 3 uh, materials. So, oh, this Aridos is called another Aridos. Oh my god. Nope, we need Raticate's help. <laughs> nope. That's a nope. Lightning's almost drained out, but geez, two airy doses, that's gonna be really tough. It's gonna be pretty tough. But anyways, like I was saying, yeah, this thing, if I remember correctly, you need three XC's materials to be able to um to be able to I'm trying to look at Radicate's moves real quick, hold on. You know, crunch would be better. Okay. Anyway, yeah, um, yeah. To be able to actually, the special effect why that card is so great is when you detach all three Xyz materials, you can actually upgrade to an, a rank higher Xyz monster, no matter what it is. As long as it's one rank higher, you can uh, bring that monster out, which is pretty amazing. So. Um, Yeah, so what was that? What else was I saying? Um, so the other two that I added in the Xyz, uh, the other two Xyz monsters in the extra deck is one is Cyber Dragon, um, Cyber Dragon something, I'm forgetting. 
Okay, good. The other area deals didn't call anything in. As long as we land this, because my eradicate has hustle. Okay, good. Because hustle makes your accuracy 30% uh, less, so it's really tough sometimes to eradicate. But anyways, like I was saying, um, yeah, I think it's called Cyber Dragon Nova. Yeah, Cyber Dragon Nova. And the whole reason why that's important, it's just mainly so I can upgrade right away to Cyber Dragon Infinity. Now, Cyber Dragon Infinity is such an amazing XCs monster. It's really hard to make the way that I'm doing it, but when you get it out on the field, you're pretty much not going to be losing any of your cards as long as you use the effect once a turn on the um, on Cyber Dragon Infinity. So once a turn, you can absorb either your own or uh, your opponent's face-up attack position monster on the field and attach it as an Xyz material. Now the reason you want to stack up on these Xyz material is once per turn you can choose to negate the activation of a spell, trap, or monster effect um, and destroy it as long as you detach uh, material from Cyber Dragon Infinity. So that's amazing because you can just pretty much always have a materials, but you got to be smart about what, how you use your, your once per turn activation uh, negation. So it's a really amazing card. You'll have to look it up because um, the way I do it, it's like it's so good. I'll I'll just straight up see the name of that uh, of the what's that thing called the one that makes the cyber dragons in general. I'll just open it up on my computer. Because it says chatting, I don't only have to play Pokemon. Uh, let's see. What was this thing's name? Yeah, it's called Teller Knight. It's, it's like Ptolemaeus. It has like a P in front. P Ptolemaeus. Um, yeah. Oh, wait, no, what the effect is. It says you can use two or more level four monsters. So you can, if you have three level four monsters, do that. Okay, so hold on. Let me see the extra effect. So it says once per turn during either player's turn, you can detach three XC materials from this card. Um... And you can special summon from your extra deck one Xyz monster that is one rank higher than this card. So this is a rank four. Um, Cyber Dragon Nova is a rank uh, five. And then Infinity is a rank six. But you can bring out Infinity by just straight up using a Cyber Dragon Nova as the upgrade thing. Kind of like with Utopia the Lightning. Um, because the whole reason why I have that in there is it only takes two level four monsters. And you can start out with Utopia number 39 Utopia and then upgrade right away to S39 Utopia Prime. And then right away to S39 Utopia the Lightning. Utopia the Lightning is so good because when uh, he attacks, no other effects can be activated except his own. Unless he takes on another, uh, what's it called, another S39 Utopia the Lightning, then both of them will get killed. Unless one of the other... Unless one other has like a higher attack, like even just 100 more attack or 50 attack or whatever. But there is no other effects that can be activated during that turn. So no traps, spells, monsters, none of that. So it's such an amazing card. But Infinity, like I said, is such a good one. But anyway, I'll go back to Pokemon Moon. Let me just unmute this. Because the music I have, and I put this at 30 volume on my computer so I can make sure um, the audio is all good. But anyways, yeah, Ledian's the level 32 and Raticate's actually ready to train as well because that was some hefty experience that we just got. So Raticate's going to be getting some training too. And Raticate can pretty much like one-shot everything. That's like we usually fight that's like around the same level because if I have the Z power plus my whole hustle which boosts my uh, physical attacks by 30 I believe. Uh, it's pretty great. <laughs> but anyways, um, let's see, do Torah Cap. Give you the amulet coin. But 
but yeah. I'll go with heal after this, because lighting is really low on health. Even though I'm most likely not going to use them for a while, but you never know when you need the extra help. Alright. Trying to avoid this train, everybody getting the grass at the same time. <laughs> Come on, there we go, finally. But anyway, yeah, I just, um, just the whole unrestricted deck, just not having to worry about any banned cards, is, is so great, because there's so many amazing cards uh, that are banned that I just can't use in my normal Paul's deck, that it just, it just sucks, so. So happy I'm able to have that stuff, because there's so many things I'm going to be able to do. And then in the side deck, because in my Paul's deck, I use the side deck as a pretty much a memory thing for me, just in case certain cards get taken out. Uh, someday, for some reason, like they're banned or limited or something, then I have those in the side deck to add to the main deck. But the side deck for Paul's unrestricted deck is just extra cards from ones that are already in. Uh, well, I mean, some of them are not in the deck, but, um, but yeah, uh, it's pretty great. <laughs> Because I can actually use the side deck if I know my opponent's like going to have like a burn deck. I'll just add more nature's reflection. Or with nature reflection, nature's reflection. If you didn't know, um, any negative, uh, I mean, any damage that's like special damage from like a card or something uh, that goes towards me. When I use nature's reflection for that for the rest of the turn all of that gets bounced back to my opponent. So whatever I would have took damage, they're going to take all instead. So it can be pretty great, and then having three of those total, you're pretty much, like, going to uh, give them their own medicine, pretty much. <laughs> um, and then I got two Miracle Locuses, uh, and that pretty much what that card does is it adds on a thousand attacks to any Pokemon in the attack position that I own that I choose, and it um, and it gives and it gives me another attack for this turn. It also doesn't allow uh, my opponent to take any damage for the rest of the turn, and they also draw a card. So I could like easily stack up on a Pokemon if I have three of those, and just give them plus three thousand attack, and then be able to attack four times that turn. So it's really I really mainly have it in there to um, to be able to take out their monsters more. I just have one normally in the deck, just so you know. Uh, just for like extra attack, like mainly I use it for like Utopia or Lightning, so I can attack twice uh, without any problems. But um, yeah, it's just a pretty great card in general just to have in the side deck. And then in the side deck, I have another Fiendish Chain because I already have two in my um, in my main deck. Um, pretty much what that does is it's a continuous trap that. Uh, whatever you, you have to only equip this on an effect monster and it negates their effects as long as Phoenix Chain is on the field. So it's a pretty amazing card. And then I believe I have the two Dark Bribes. And then I have all the Utopia ones that I took out. Um, the one of each Utopia. Uh, number 39 Utopia, then number S39 Utopia Prime, and then number S39 Utopia the Lightning. So yeah. Um have those in the side deck as well. Pretty much just like I said, just extra stuff. Oh, and then two more fiber jars, because I only have one in the main deck, and you already know what that does. Um, but, yeah. I'm trying to think of what else. Because uh, y'all can check it out if you want. Uh, I have it in my box files. Um, pretty much the link is in each of my uh, YouTube videos, but you can even just look up Paul's restricted, unrestricted deck, and um, yeah, you'll most likely find it on like Yu Gi Oh Pro deck or something. Usually, where I post my decks in general. Um, but yeah, but anyways, uh, I just got finished training Lolan Radicate to level 32, so now Torakat's gonna be on the front. I think he's all good trained up. Uh, let's see. Yep, he'll be good for a while. He's pretty much just leveled up recently, so, yeah, heal up, let me continue down whatever route it is to the mountain, to the bus, so we can get to that next trial, what else to talk about besides Pokemon, hmm, I don't know, I don't really 
really know what else I did yesterday, really. Yeah, not really sure. Oh yeah, if I ever am able to catch a shiny in time, like, I mean, try to get it on the film so you can hear it, the stream, I'll max out my DS for for uh, the time that it's going to like sparkle so you can hear that it shines. I, I might be caught off guard, of course, but I hope I can do that just to have that for you all. <laughs> Oh, wow, this Spiro just tried to use uh, my own move against me. This thing's mirror move, and it missed because I had the whole high uh, affection. <laughs> oh man, try to use Fire Fang against me. Get out of here, Spiro. You have a beak. <laughs> oh man. So next, we're going to fight this firefighter trainer. So let's see what these guys. Probably got like a Smeargle or something, some kind of dog. I don't know. Kind of seems right for a, a firefighter. So let's see what he's got. Oh, we got an intense pose. What does he got? Oh, he got a polyworld. Oh, that makes sense. The water type. Oh, that's pretty bad. So my Tauri cat's out in front. I kind of want to risk it because I want to see. Oh, level 28. Oh, jeez. I'm only level 31. I'm. I'm gonna hope for the flinch would bite, please. Or just miss your attack in general? Oh, bubble beam. Oh, no. This might kill. Woo. Got us down to 41. We're at 85. Okay, I'm switching out. Two cannon, help us out. Let's see what we can do with two cannons. This should be easy peasy. This should be all easy. Rain dead. That's fine. You're probably going to die. That's all good. Let's see what I got Z move on my two cannon. I think it's the flying type one. Oh, it's a normal type one. Mm -hmm. Nah, I use beef blast. That's fine. So if this thing hits me with a physical move, it'll get burned. Oh yes, it used body slam. This thing's gonna get burned now. Yes, that's amazing. This beef blast should kill anyway, because it's stab is really powerful. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Good old two cannon helping out. All right, sweet. Oh, two cans all wet because of the rain dance. Get y'all dried up. And the little blow dryer is like a Porygon, which is so cool. All right, Sage of the Berry. Here you go, buddy. Probably Tora Cat is like all rustled up as well because he took a big bubble beam. Glad he survived that, I'm proud of him. So I was hoping for the 30% flinch on bite. That would have been great. <laughs> they did about like 25% of the Polyworld's health as well, and we outsped as well. You can't want a lot of love. There we go, finally we got the meat, you know. I think Torah Cat is all wet too. Oh yeah, when they're orange, that means, yep. Yep, Torah Cat's wet from the bubble beam. Poor Torah Cat. Torah Cat will be evolving soon. He evolves, I believe, at level 36, so then that would mean all my Pokemon are finally fully evolved on my team. Here's a red berry, good sir. If you didn't know, if you try to touch the, uh, little medallion on um on Tora Cat it actually burns the hand which is like really funny. Must be like its source of uh firepower. I don't be getting some Tora Cat some good old pats. He's liking this too. He's getting a lot just like two cannons. He's still going, oh crap. Oh, he likes the ears, the ears pet as well. Oh, he loves that. He still wants love, holy crap. 
I've petted him like eight times. There we go. Now he's done. I mean, I love you, buddy, but jeez, man. Oh, man. All right. I'm going to go back to that Pokemon Center. Pretty low. What was this? Oh, the Stuffles? <gasps> we found a Stuffle. Yay. Go back to your mom or grandma or whatever. Get out of here. I think she said like 10 total and this is route 10 so I'll, or maybe she meant like seven no she probably only has six because you only have six at one time in your party i don't know wait for real it's almost it's almost been an hour already wow that's crazy. The time just flies. Oh, that's right. I'm also saving up for revival herbs, but I have forty-four, so I'm I'm pretty good. Well, then again, mm, if it's three hundred seventy-eight thousand for that backpack, it's probably not worth trying to just save up for that for now. I think I should just worry about the revival herbs. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to fly there to the Olivia's hometown. I believe that's where they are. Let's see. I think it is. Oh, no, it's the trader. Yeah, herbalist shop, yeah. That's where they sell revival herbs. The reason why those are so good is they, yeah, they do make your Pokemon bitter towards you, but they fully revive your Pokemon when they're dead. So it's pretty good. I mean, you can find max revives, but you can't really buy them. But you can buy revival herbs. Where is this guy at? Somewhere. Here he is. Yes. Give me all the revival herbs I can buy. I'm gonna buy four of them, that's not too bad. So I want a total of 99. So I'm a little over. Mm, I'm almost halfway there, it's at 48 right now. Alright, back to where we left off. Alright. I'm gonna go check, I think it is. Yeah, it's 11.20 when I stop. This is literally 12 more minutes. It's crazy how time flies. I feel like I only started just like a few minutes ago. But, yeah. Alright. Oh, did I heal? I don't know if I healed or not. Okay, I did. Good, good. Toricat, I think, is still good to keep going without having to train in the wild yet. Oh no, he is. He is ready to train in the wild. Wow. Okay. Alright, I think I have a fire in EMZ, so I'll give that to actually extra boost your fire fang. And then two cannon can have uh you know what just in case two cannon needs to switch in, I'm not gonna bother to give him the amulet coin yet. I'll do it once Torcat trains in the next level. I'm trying to spot if there's any other. There's a Pokeball right there. I think there's something in the tree. Oh, yep. Yeah. When you pass by this tree and you like leave, it just comes back. Nope, okay. I was trying to see if that Spearow was going to be a shiny, then I was going to turn the volume all the way up so you can hear the sparkles. But nope, it does not. I'm sure eventually I'll find the shiny uh, on stream again. Fire Fang, Inferno Overdrive. This should one shot the spear, I bet. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Alright. Yep, yep. This should kill, I would hope, in one shot. Oh, what? But we avoided the uh, Fearow's attack. Okay, it didn't call for anything, thank God. She's a scratch, that's fine. Get out of here. 
That's right, girl. Get the heck out of here. Ooh, almost. This girl do a lot of experience. Let's see. So we found a stuffle there. Is there any other trainers nearby? Oh, there's a stuffle right there, but it... Oh, there's another Pharaoh. Oh, you're gonna be shiny? No, you're a normal Pharaoh. You get... You, you're fine. You're alright, you're alright. So, we might be able to... Yeah, the last one was 25, so this... This, um... Inferno Overdrive Fire Fang should kill. Should. Hopefully. <laughs> Never know with these things, they might have extra IVs or UVs or different nature that might just let them live a little bit or something, I don't know. But I hope this would kill. This should give Torakat the level up, because the last one gave us like 700 experience, so, yeah. Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. You're dead. Good, good. Yay, levels up. Level 32, Torakat. Nice job, Torcat. Yeah, it is 36 for Incineroar, because sometimes they're like level 32 for the starters, sometimes. Anyways, two cannons, you can have them and a coin. Yep. And then we continue on with the route. You don't need to go heal, because Torcat didn't take any damage. It's only the power points that were lost. So I'm all good. All good. Alright, two cannon. You can in uh, the wild to be uh, to next level, so. Oh, another stuffle we have found. Get over there, stuffle. Yes, yes, you go back to your. Um, but I don't know what, because I don't want to say they're owners. Because, you know, Pokemon and people should be, you know, uh, allies. You know, yeah, I'll call them, call it lady and ally. Because I don't know. Who that is to the stuffle. The stuffle was behind the tree. I almost missed that. What the heck? Oh, this lady heals up my Pokemon. Wow. That's awesome. So I'll have to go back to the Pokemon Center. Awesome. That's great. I thought she was going to be someone that was going to fight me if I beat everyone else on the route. Alright, stuffle. We'll go back to your ally. There you go. So that's three so far. Should almost, if it's only six, there's only three more to go. That's pretty sweet. I might actually be able to do this before the stream's over. Anything else I missed? I think I got everything else. Oh, this girl wants to fight. Alright, let's do this. I think, I hope I switched two cannon out to the front. If I didn't, I'm going to feel really stupid. Alright, Andrea, let's see what you got. Ooh, Stimmy. Okay. Okay, I did. And this thing's a grass type, so it's gonna get one shot by the leaf blast. 27, not too bad. Still no level 30s yet to want me to write down on my document to grind my team to level 31, even though they're already over level 31, but still. Oh, you missed the rage elite. Now you're dead. The beak blast is just too good. The effect that it charges up and then if they hit you with a physical move, they get burned, but not only that, it's just. I think 100 power as well? It's freaking crazy. Oh, I see a stuffle, but a Spiro got in the way. Are you a shiny? No, you're not a shiny. You're just a brown Spiro, just a normal Spiro. Yeah, definitely two cannon will be ready to train in the wild after this for the next level. Oh, 27. Uh, I'm going to definitely use Beak Blast, because this thing's probably going to hit me with a physical move. Go ahead, hit me with a physical move. Aerial Ace, oh, it's special, but that, I think that means contact as well. Yeah, it still makes contact even though it's not a physical move. I'm pretty sure it's a special attack. Oh yes, and the burn should kill? Oh no, is he going to call for help? Okay, no. Okay, good, he did not call for help. Uh, he's used Echo Voice, that's fine. Alright. That was a close one. I think these ones from the trees usually don't call for help because Spiro is burned and, um, or maybe because he had a status effect on him. Or maybe it's because maybe when they're asleep. <gasps> I see the last two stuffles. One right here and one behind the sign. I mean, I think there's one more, but I don't think this girl's gonna. Oh, it's not a girl, it's a guy. He's behind here, so you can see. So I want to still train. Was that all the stuffles? It should tell you when they are, are back. No, there's still one more. I think the last stuff was 
<gasps> what is this? Oh, we got an item from the Spearoid. It was a shark beak. Nice. I don't think that's an item that I actually want in a Pokemon. Um. Oh, there was probably no held items because of the Z move. Yeah. Probably. Well, anyways, Pokeball. Oh, there's the last Stuffle. <gasps> I can actually complete this quest before the stream. Get over there, Stuffle. Yay. Oh, what? It didn't say it was all back. Okay, whatever. I'll uh, probably go back anyways. Take the animal coin off the YouTube channel. Because I think you're ready to train. Yeah, you're ready. 442 more experience to go. You can have... I believe I have the Fly Indian Z. No, I don't. Uh, okay, I'll give you more Mountain Z then. Okie doke. And then we give the amulet coin to Gumshoes. Yeah, because he's a, got a while until he levels up. Toucanic can take care of himself. He can pretty much like one shot most stuff. Where is your amulet coin, good sir? Um. Yeah, I want to check because it would make sense that there would be only be six, so I don't know. Let's see. Oh, what? She had eight? What the heck? Okay. Alright then. Alright, well, anyways, I don't know. If, I don't think I'll be able to finish it in this stream. I don't know. But as always, next stream, most likely. Alright, let's see what we got. Whatever this is, should be high enough experience to be able to do one battle. Yeah, low and eradicate. Should give over 400 experience, like, probably like 500 at least. Level 26, not that bad. Should be able to probably one shot with Z Blast. Maybe you can get the burn at you, maybe. Oh, you missed us, so that didn't. Okay, cool. Yep, it's a one shot. <laughs> nice. Yeah, 700 experience for that one. See, I knew that it's probably going to give me a lot. Alright, you can. You're all good. You can go. You can go to the back. I saw an Ace Trainer where the sign was. I didn't even use the sign. I'll read it actually. Cause I was just thinking that was the last one, so I was like, whatever. All right, what does that sign say? And then I'm gonna heal up the Pokemon from that nice trainer by uh, just saying that I moved my Pokemon with the X menu. <laughs> Don't care. I already know that. All right. I believe he's gonna want to battle me after I defeated all the other trainers on the route. I don't know, he's just telling me that bus is coming by. Oh, here's another stuffle. And that's a police officer in the grass. I might, you know what, I think I can do this. Where's the last stuffle at? Oh, it's in Team Skull. Okay, this is going to be a big battle. <gasps> the last stuffle I got is before the cops saw me. I'm going to go back and complete the quest right now. Yeah, it tells me I, I did the... Oh, yes, we got out of there with Tauros. I'm going to fight the cop as well to finish off the stream as well. Um, yeah. Oh, she gave me a never melt ice. Okay, well, I'm gonna sell that. Oh, she gave me $15,000! Holy crap! Oh my god. That was definitely worth it. See, that's why you do quests. Holy crap, 15000 What a big bump. Right, I'm gonna take on... I'm going to take on this police officer. He probably has like a Growlithe or a Rockruff or something. Probably with someone dog related. Yeah, Growlithe, I called it. What's up, Growlithe? How you doing? Gumshoes, you got this. Ooh, 28, not too bad. Oh, he intimidated me. Eh, that sucks. Why are you super fang man just because he did that? Even though he's only four levels under, I'm not going to risk it. Oh, yes, I avoided fire fang. Super fang again. Good, they both landed because last time Gumshoes missed. And I know it's been an hour, but um, 
I want to be able to finish this and take on that whatever's in the tree because the tree was shaking. Um, but what else? Uh, I also want to sell stuff, and then I'll go right back to the point for next time when I play. So that was pretty easy. We defeated that grouse pretty easily. 2,240 from that police officer. Nice. Okay. There we go. Whatever's in the tree. Maybe it's a shiny to finish off the stream. No, nah, it's a normal Firo. Because <laughs> I know what a shiny Firo looks like. It's like a light greenish. So, yeah. Should be able to kill this thing pretty easily. Level 24, not too bad, not too bad. Um, I'll try to go for the flinch with bite. Oh, you outsped us. Okay, guess the flinch doesn't matter. Land at the fury attack. Alright. I don't know if you can hear my alarm, but it's going off. I'm going to be... Oh crap, Fear actually tried to call him for help. I didn't even realize I was just trying to turn off my alarm. Aerial Ace, whatever. Alright. Maybe you drop a sharp beak, that'd be cool. But sometimes I do, it shows like a little spark when he's on the ground. But anyways, I'm going to go and buy more Revival Herbs, and then I will um, sell stuff as well first. So I have the Never Melt Ice, um, I think an X Accuracy I found as well, because I don't care about those. And then a, what was the other one? Oh, Sharpie. No, those should sell for a decent amount. Where is he? Oh, here he is. Can I sell stuff for you? Okay, there we go. Cool. That's convenient. What do we got? Never melt ice. 500, that's pretty good. Because back in the older generation, they only sell for like 50. Same with the uh, Sharpie and for the X accuracy. All 500. Sweet, man. Oh, we got some berries as well. We got from that berry stash. Cool lot. Don't care about that. Stone egg. Whatever. Anything else we got? Oh, an extra antidote. I only want to keep 10. I'm good. Oh, not an antidote. Um. Paralyzed Heal. I love the music in this town as well. Alright. I think that's all. Okay. Buy as many Revival Herbs as we can. I'll go to where I left off. There's these two Team Skulls near the uh, near the sign of the bus stop. Ooh, I bought seven Revival Herbs. Oh, dang. 44 more to go until I got 99 of them. Anyways, um, um, yeah, I watched the Let's Play before, so I know exactly that I'm most likely going to be fighting them, uh, so yeah, so anyways, uh, yeah, I love the Tauros ride so much because it makes uh, traveling so much easier. Alright, so I'll save decently close. Uh, let this lady heal me as well. Actually, you know, for next time, I'll save in front of this tree, because the tree is reset every time with the whole shaking thing, so... so sometimes I'll have them in there, so I'm just going to save here then. And heck, you know what, I might as well check Poke Pelago as well, just in case more stuff came by. I don't know, maybe. I'm gonna check that real quick, and if it's not, I'll just quit the game and then end off the stream. Nope, no wild, oh, but there's a, oh, the bean bottle! We got some beans back, what the heck? Okay, might as well send out another bean bottle. Yep. I don't know what the bean bottles even do. I really don't understand. Ah, uh, but nope, no Pokemon around here, so I'll save again just because I got some beans. And then I will end off the stream. Alright. Well, this is a fun one. Got some good progress. Pretty much made it through um, 
throughout um, throughout 10, so that's pretty great. Anyways, yeah. If you enjoyed this stream, um, uh, if you'd be so kind as to support me by donating to my Patreon, as long as you're not putting yourself in a bad spot by doing so, of course, and feel free to. The link is in the description, uh, probably not below, but when I put this to YouTube later today, it will be in the description down below, because you'll be seeing it as a video, most likely. But anyways, I've been your host, Palm Sabayoi, and goodbye.